All right, welcome everyone that are here beautifully live. And then also the world of YouTube. We're gonna chat today about, or I'm gonna chat. I have people who might message me and I'll replay any of the questions or anything that comes into mind. I did get some info from them on things that they like to do or um, things that when they're out outdoors, they wanna have fun and they wanna make sure that their garden is lush and beautiful. So that's what we're talking about, outdoor fun and gardening with essential oils. And so my name is Jean Collins and I really just help people feel amazing every day by really removing those toxic ingredients so that their endocrine system, their whole body, their emotions, because the endocrine system is part of um, your hormones so that affects your emotions and your moods, right? And really our sense of smell is directly uh, connected to our limbic center of our brain. And that controls our heart rate, our mood, and just so many things with the body. Um, it actually also helps recall memory. So like think of like if you smell vanilla, that re might remind you of your grandma's cookies or your mom's cookies. So it's really amazing when we are able to use essential oils to help with that calming, right? They can also help with our gardens. They can also help with our skin. There's so many beautiful things. Speaking of skin, that's one of the reasons why I started using essential oils is because I had pizza face acne. And um, first, my little brother, he was having horrible night terrors. And that's how we specifically found Young Living Essential Oils is through that. And um, their farms, the quality commitment, is just so amazing. Below, you'll find seedthesill.com to really discover and look at the farms. But that's really what sets Young Living apart is we have over 14 farms internationally and we're really about making sure that everything is quality. So we understand the soil, how to cultivate each essential oil, how to distill it property, properly because each essential oil, like a rose, the delicate rose is so different than pine or cedar wood, right? So it's gonna have a different level of uh, distillation, which a lot of other companies, they don't look at that. They just distill everything at the same speed or at the same um, hours. And then it's not good for the quality. The consistency and the quality is just isn't there. There's also the FDA um, doesn't really moderate this that much. So that's why Young Living has that seed to sale commitment, that high quality standard. And um, that's, I really noticed a difference in my health because I also used to not only have the skin issues, but I used to get sick all of the time. Sinus infection, flu, pneumonia, just repeat. So it's really important for me to help educate others because I didn't even recognize that I wasn't even feeling good. And that is an awareness that I feel like a lot of people are in. They're, they're used to like, if they're um, on their monthly cycle for us women, having the horrible headaches or the cramps and, you know, our body, it's not supposed to be that bad. We've just, as a society, started to accept these things or you're getting older, so you're not able to move at no, like, yeah, maybe a tiny bit, but you should be able to really move and thrive throughout your life. And that's also the importance of food. So getting to outdoors though, and having fun in the summer, what are one of the things we wanna make sure that we are able to just hang out by the pool, right? Or the lake or the river or the beach, whatever body of water is next to you or near you or closest to you. For us in Taos, New Mexico, we have uh, the river, we have the Rio Grande, we have a few different areas. So we gotta make sure that we're protecting our skin. And the cool thing is, that we have a beautiful mineral sunscreen that is, so we have the SPF 50 and it is water resistant for 80 minutes. I, okay, so the even cooler thing is like, the, it's so water resistant that the water literally like curls up on your skin and it goes on clear, right? You can leave it on for it to be white. I'll show you guys, um, right? It's like white. But once you rub it in, then it's clear. It's your skin color, right? Nate kind of likes to leave it on extra thick. So his sometimes is white in some areas. I'm like, ah, eh, you do you. 
it's amazing. The reason why it's amazing too is it doesn't have oxybenzoin. And like I said a little bit earlier, I'm really about being ingredient savvy. A lot of these ingredients, in fact, are endocrine systems. So oxybenzoin is one of those that's an uh, endocrine disruptor. It's mimicking estrogen in the body. We don't want that. As women, yes, we technically, we do have more estrogen, but we need to have that balance of uh, testosterone and estrogen or else things get out of whack. And that's not good. The body needs to be in this beautiful hormone and state so that we can age with grace and ease. And so there, with this oxybenzoin, also known as benzophonine, it is also found 96.8% is detectable in our urine samples. Okay, so that is further proof that it's um, entering into our bloodstream and going into our body. That's not okay. Also, oxybenzoin was found in um, a, a fish outside of California, Southern California. And that fish had both, it had eggs in the sperm. So it had both of the um, male and female represented it in one fish. That's not normal. So I hope you guys can start to see how this is going to affect not only us, as individuals and our children, but also the planet and the wildlife and the homeostasis of the earth. So that's why we want to ditch that oxybenzoin or benzophonine. And we already have a solution, mineral sunscreen. It is perfect, it's amazing, it works. Now, sometimes though we can just forget to reapply, right? or maybe not reapply in enough time and just all of the things. So there's a few things, cause this is also a DIY. Um, one thing that you can do with this beautiful pink uh, little dropper, which is on sale right now and amazing. And it has the cute little Young Living logo. Um, you can take and create your own. This is uh, roughly, it's a 15 mil bottle. so. It'll be about 0.5 ounces. So I'm going to do a recipe with this size. So 0.5 ounces of sweet almond oil. And yes, it's sweet almond oil. Four drops of lavender and four drops of peppermint. So if you're just like, oh, oops, I've been outside too long. I forgot to reapply. Or maybe you're just gardening too long. And you're just like, oh, I'm only going to be out there like 20 minutes. It's an hour and a half later. And you're like, oh, dang. Right, we've all been there. Yeah, definitely. So we wanna make sure to use that and then, um, or create that. Or if you're like, girl, I am so busy. My life is so full. This is what I use, the after sun spray with, from Young Living. It's the Lavaderm after sun spray. It's quick, it's easy. It's also good for pain and itch. So I've used this on a bug bite. I've also used this on a rash that came from someone had donated clothes to me. This is awesome. I'm like, oh, I learned. Uh, and it makes sense when you think about clothes and how much, how much people have washed their clothes. I got a rash after, after having that, after even though I washed it several times. So I was like, okay, if, and that's a big if, I accept clothes from anyone else or go to a clothing swap. I have to make sure that I really soak the clothes in the lavaderm and add some extra pair, or, I'm sorry, our laundry soap, our thieves laundry soap and just do extra precautionary things. Cause I, uh, yeah, it's just not good. Kind of also shows I'm like, yeah, babe, but this, I am sensitive. Um, so this is amazing for that. It's also great for, like I said, the pain, just sunburn. It's an over-the-counter product, just like our mineral sunscreen, right? These are FDA approved and they are plant-based. That is huge. We wanna make sure that we are using plant-based products. The reason why I love Young Living is we say no to over 2,500 ingredients. Whereas yes, the European Union does way better than the US. They ban 1,300 some ingredients and the US only bans 11. Yes, you heard that number right. The US, the FDA only bans 11 ingredients. And see in 1976, there was 65,000 plus just grandfathered in. 
without being tested. That's not okay. I hope you're really understanding and seeking in the importance of researching the companies and really understanding your ingredients and looking at those ingredients, right? Reading those ingredients. Um, also, sometimes there's pests when outside, right? So we wanna make sure that we have insect repellent. So this is the Young Living's DEET-free insect repellent. And yes, there are people who had to make sure that we got the ratio correct and had to get the bug bites or go near the mosquitoes, get put like I saw it, they've got their hand, there's mosquitoes in there, they got their hand in there and whew, to make sure it was either repelling them enough or not. Ah, bug bites, not cool, mosquitoes. Um, so obviously they found the correct ratio. It's amazing, it works perfectly. This last, for a long time, especially in just this container. Now, um, adding it to the sprayer bottle will help it get dispersed more. And this also is a little bit of my own DIY because before vacation, I didn't realize that I didn't have another one. So I had to make a little DIY, which is the beautiful thing about having just essential oils in general is that you can do DIY things. And I literally just looked at the ingredients on here. Plus, I'll, I'll tell you guys something else in a second. But with this, so this is an ultra, it's a no sound ultra uh, fine sprayer. And what you're going to do, because you do need this to be liquidy and obviously essential oils and the carrier oil in here um, is an oil. You have to do half of this with witch hazel or you could do vodka, but I, I did witch hazel. And then the other half with the insect repellent. This is um, a 10 mil or a, a 10 ounce, I'm sorry, a 10 ounce. And this is six ounces. So you're gonna have an ounce left, which is fine, right? You'll be just prepared for the next year or the next time. And um, I did also use this to spray on my dog to keep any pusks and anything away. Cause this is, for mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas. So um, also it is really great for no Um For us, when we, we just used it on as this form, like so the no kind of like, yeah, some of them stayed away, but the braver ones kind of just died on our skin. They literally died in the oil of this. I also will say this has um, sesame seed oil and sesame seed oil can stain clothing. Uh, just be aware of that. So if you're wearing a nice outfit and you happen to be outside, um, I would probably put it in this version and kind of spray it more outwards or just be really cautious where you're putting it on your skin, right? Also, the cool thing is if you're like, girl, I just want to hang out and be all fancy and dressed up and you have your own party, there's two things you can, well, there's a few things you can diffuse, but diffusing outside. Yes, it is a thing. I do it when I want to hang out outside and there's um, mosquito issues or whatnot. I diffuse either purification, the blend from Young Living purification or citronella. And voila, it's like, the, the candles or whatnot, but you know what's in the essential oil it's or the diffuser. It's water and pure essential oils from Young Living. So you could also use the ingredients in here are citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, geranium, spearmint, thyme, clove. Um, and you also want to kind of look at your diet because you probably have also looked at, and I, we can talk more about this, because that's kind of a, a thing all of in its own, right? So for anyone live, we can talk more one-on-one -on -one, and anyone watching the reply on my infos below, contact me. I'm happy to really chat it out and help you. But we've all had friends that are like, what mosquitoes? Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm fine. And then you're like, why am I getting eaten alive, right? It's a blood type, it's a sugar thing. Let's chat, okay? So. We kind of talked about making sure that we're protected outside, that our skin looks smooth and glowing and it's perfect, right? 
So we want to make sure that, oh, also for anyone who's outside the state of New Mexico, I'm pretty sure it's anyone else, we have insect wipes. This can be very beneficial for anyone who has kids that might not want to stay for a wipe down, right? The spray down would probably be easier. Also, you will have to shake this as you're seeing me do. The spray down would probably be easier. But these insect wipes, there's actually quite a bit of juice on them from what I've heard. And also I've experienced with other Young Living products. So you can probably reuse it throughout the day and or with camping, have it leave it out. Even the envelope it comes in to deter the pests inside the tent or in that area as well, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the reason why is for whatever reason, our state will not let us do that in New Mexico. So just ship it to Colorado or whatever, or I just use this. It works beautifully and amazing. It's up to you what you wanna do. So the lavender lotion, because let's say, let's face it, when we're gardening, when we're working with our hands, sometimes even when we have those gloves on, or sometimes we just like are already in the dirt and we're like, well, dang it, I already got dirt underneath my fingernails. And sometimes it's just nice to play in the dirt, right? Dirt also has uh, really nice microbes that we really need um, to, under, to, to help us like have a state of calm and it, it just helps connect us with the earth. So if you are having any dry skinness, we do have a lavender hand and body lotion. We have also a Genesis and a Sensation. Right now I have my lavender hand and body lotion. And I wanna just kind of also give a little testimonial because this mineral sunscreen first, actually this is the SPF 10 that was first released. So I still had some of that. We no longer do the 10, we just do the SPF 50. Um, I think right now everyone's uh, all about making sure we no one gets skin cancer. And this is uh, has an award or is approved by the Skin Cancer Association. So that's also another little really cool thing. Uh, and you can use this in Hawaii because it doesn't have the oxybenzoin. And I think there's another ingredient that affects the coral reefs. So this is Hawaii approved. Okay, um, now, lavender hand and body lotion is amazing. The testimony I want to talk about is before we had that, I and a few others of us would do a little DIY to protect our skin before we went out, right? Adding about 20 drops of frankincense. And I believe either 30, they might have been equal. I did not look that up right before this. I just kind of came to me. It could have been 30 drops of myrrh and 20 drops of frankincense. Either way, or you could just do 30 of both and be like, all right, girl, I'm set in the whole bottle. And then you would apply that onto your skin. Now, obviously that you would have to reapply several times, especially if you're around water, but hey, that's what we did. That's what we used. Now, when you're working outside in the garden or just outside in general, it can get hot, right? Luckily in the U.S. or in the U.S. well, in New Mexico, I mean, it is in the U.S., but in New Mexico, we have a dry climate. So it's actually quite easy to, to cool off with our misting spray and also the shade. It's nice when we're in the shade. At least I think so because humidity, sometimes you just get too sticky and yeah, it's a whole thing. So you can use and create your own with the, actually this is the four ounce, but you can use the six ounce. You can, I think this is the four ounce. It might be, either way. I'm gonna give you the six ounce recipe because that's what I have here. And you can create your own cool spray, right? Keep it cool with four drops of lavender, 10 drops of peppermint, six ounces of distilled water, one uh, tablespoon of either vodka or witch hazel. So you can make your own. 
You could also keep it in the refrigerator to keep it extra cool. Or you can just buy the Lavaderm Cooling Mist from Young Living. Super easy, super simple. I get it. I know how busy I am. I still have a long list of emails and things. It's life, right? So, but DIY can also be fun. And you can have your girlfriends over or you just all the friends over, make some DIY stuff or make some DIY gifts. It's totally up to you and it's just amazing. So that is another beautiful thing to have on hand um, when you are hanging out outside, right? Or and you're not near a body of water. Gardening is definitely uh, super important. Okay, so the next thing is with gardening, we wanna make sure our garden is pest free. Now there are plants that you can plant like citronella, marigolds, nastriums. Those are plants that are gonna help keep the garden bug free and pest free as well. And I might be missing a few. So um, feel free to let me know if, if there's anything else that you plant. Those are just some of the ones that I have planted myself and had some great success. Uh, as well as though, I've also bought plants from our local farmer's market and did not realize and got aphids. And it took a while to, to realize and know what was happening. And it was a whole experience. And then I was able to create a little DIY, look up, do some research for you guys. I will say with aphids, you want to make sure you're using some sort of soap. We have our thieves dish soap. You could just use this and get it really liquidy. You want to make sure it's soapy. Um, and you're going to also smoothly rub off any of the, the aphids, right? There's a, a two point purpose for that, right? You're, the soapiness is killing the eggies. But, uh, and you're also making sure that all of the live ones are getting it either in, their, in them or just probably smushing them when you're rubbing it off. It's a whole process, it's a whole thing. Um, I still don't really understand aphids, but I'm sure they serve a purpose. Maybe spiders need to eat them, I don't know. Um, also, peppermint, clove, and rosemary in general does not aphids don't like right as well as the thieves fruit and veggie soap what i did is i kind of did my own little diy i added uh, i think at the time i was low on something so i couldn't just use the thieves dish soap so i was like oh well let's add the thieves fruit and veggie soap and i added some lemongrass as well because that was what i had and peppermint and actually, let me just smell it. So I put it in this is not luscious lemon refill, although we do have a beautiful luscious lemon soap, right? Um, oh, someone has used the Thieves uh, hand sanitizer, which makes sense. And that's perfect. It's a great, I didn't even think of that. This is why we're all here. So thank you for, for that. I think I might've also put purification in this or just straight citronella. But either way, and then I put this in actually like a, an insect sprayer, right? And that's how I put it on. Well, first I did use this, which whew, I got my squirter muscles really going. <laughs> and then I uh, upgraded to the, um, because man, those things move fast, especially when you when you think you caught them, but then you don't really know about what a either way. So then I upgraded to an insect sprayer, and then whew, they were they were good. So uh, also be cautious of where you buy your plants. Inspect them before you plant them in your greenhouse. Learn learned a, learned a few lessons, right? And. Um, then you can just spray Thieves Household Cleaner on it before, leave it outside before you plant it in your greenhouse or in your garden bed, okay? Just the Thieves Household, or if you wanna create the extra, this was like the extra, hey, I have an infestation, I gotta kill all the things, right? Whereas just the Thieves Household Cleaner will be fine. 
if you're just like doing a little preventative, right? Maybe you don't even see anything. If you do see anything, use this. Um, okay. Also, with my greenhouse, I give my plants mega cow. Now, some of you are going to be like, but this, this is an old label. This is an old bottle. I've been in Young Living since December 2007. I stay in Young Living because it's the only thing that really has kept me in amazing energy and my immune system awesome. I also grew up taking Chinese medicine, being around natural and, and healthy, like eating organic before it was like really a huge thing and just things like that. So Manga Cow is also going to be really great for your plants as well. So I just, what I do is I put um, two scoops, actually four scoops in a two gallon. So two per one gallon uh, into my little water filter. I put water in it and then I water it that way. Okay, so it's more of a liquid. Uh, this year, granted, it only happened with one of the beds because uh, either way, um, I did put a little in at um, a, like a base layer, like with the plants. Um, so yeah, that that only happened with one of one of my beds. Okay, so that's what I have. There are more tips and tricks. I just want to make sure that I honor your time and, and for those of you live, be able to answer questions as well. So I hope you guys can see the benefit of really making sure you're ditching those toxins because they're affecting your endocrine system and future generations. And just look at infertility rates. That's one of the areas. Rise in diseases, it's another area. So just be really aware. And I hope you can see the benefit of joining my team because I really help people just ditch those toxins, encourage them to have a better an overall healthy lifestyle. Also, I educate. So I kill you know, every Thursday, 7 p.m. And I also have in-person classes in Taos and Santa Fe and Albuquerque. So if you're in any of those areas, and some in Colorado Springs, every once in a while, I've also done Texas. So hey, let me know. I'm happy to come and teach a class for you and your family. Uh, and also, I hope you can see the benefits of really using the Young Living products every single day, right? This is only a snippet of this is gardening, outdoor fun. We also have supplements, makeup, my beautiful makeup, right? So amazing. Okay, now there's, there's a few different ways. There's like a good, better, best. You can really grab an item. If you're like, girl, I just need some sunscreen, that's it. You're gonna pay retail. So you're gonna pay 24% more I don't know about you, but I like saving money. I think everyone likes saving money, right? So um, better way is to grab either a starter bundle, which the Haven starter bundle comes with two of these glass bottles. So you can make a, um, a beautiful, oh, I spent too much time in the sun, right? Had too much time in the sun. And you can also do a face serum, right? So kind of knock that out of the park. And then it also comes with these. Peppermint, lavender, lemon are huge for supporting your sinuses. That's one, that was one of my issues, right? This is like three of the oils I go to and I diffuse in my diffuser to help cleanse the air and keep it good. Right now we have a lot of smoke in our air, so I've been diffusing 24 seven. And guess what? I'm doing great. And I also have a diagnosis of asthma. So like I, these products work y'all. It's basically what I'm saying. Okay, the other cool thing with the Haven diffuser is, um, or it comes with a Haven diffuser. It's the Haven starter bundle. That diffuser right now I don't have, believe it or not. I gave it away or I, Either way, so um, that is really cute. It's about, well, it's about yay big. Perfect for a, a nightstand diffuser. Amazing to just diffuse your bedroom. 
and it's white so it's very elegant very modern looking and it also it has a ceramic lid so the inside is plastic but it has a beautiful ceramic lid that uh, the Young Living Foundation works with some women to create that as well and give back to women-run businesses, which is really huge. I hope you recognize that as well. And that's the beautiful thing about Young Living is we also have a foundation where 100% of the proceeds go to the people in need. Um, okay, and with that, with the Havens Diffuser Blend, the best way is to jump on a subscription. And you can literally create your subscription with your Haven Diffuser or Haven Starter Bundle. That's what you're looking for, Haven Starter Bundle. So you're like, oh my God, I also need, oh, the Thieves Veggie Soak, which I, yeah, the Thieves Veggie Soak, which is amazing. The dish soap, you're like, girl, um, we're, we're going to be outdoors. We're going to be having fun. It's, su it's summer soon. We got spring right now. Insect repellent, well, it's really insect repellent, all the things, right? Then if you get all of the things that I mentioned, you will definitely get some free gifts because Young Living does beautiful promotions and free gifts every single month, which I'm happy to message you the details. And that's it. So all of that is below my link to join. I would love and be honored to have you join my team. Thank you so much. And I'm going to end this recording for my beautiful live guests to answer any questions because I think I saw a few pop up. Have a great one in the world of YouTube. Bye-bye.